happens here. The 48 and the 24, they get side by side. Here comes McMurray. Menard, Menard had a fast car all day long, and here comes McMurray, and he just gets a little bit of piece of that 48. Lot white happened in the unlimited. Looked like Jimmy's car just got loose and spun. Look at Clint Boyer in that 15 car get up in the air. Thing went all, it did a 360. Unbelievable. Did a barrel roll and came right back down on its wheels. And uh, he'll cross the start finish line because it goes all the way across the infield. The race is over. Riding with Jimmy Johnson. That car just stepped out a lot like it did Saturday night, Mike, when somebody got alongside of it. Man, and then he just nailed McMurray again. That was uh, some hard hits there, folks. That was a double-double for Jimmy Johnson. Here's another look. Just this little bit of contact right there between the brush. one of the 48. Yep, just enough brush on the back corner there to spin him around. And watch the 78 Truex. He was going to start on the front row of the 500. And he jumps on the brakes but comes right into it. And tears that car up pretty badly before it's all over. Yeah. Now, remember the Labonte brothers who were 30 seconds back of the field? <laughs> yeah. I believe they both drove their way into the 500 in this. Yeah, unofficially, they're both in the top 15. <laughs> oh, me. Clint Boyer got enough air time to qualify for his pilot's license right here. Let's have a look through our Fox Super Zoom. Just that little bit of contact at 195 miles an hour. Yeah. These cars are also miss. They're so sensitive, and particularly down on that corner right there. And uh, Kyle Larson made it through. Clint Boyer made it. Uh, Clint Boyer made it up and over. David Reagan head on into the safer barrier on the inside of the track. And we 